Happy Wednesday, fellow trader. Cecil Robles here with YourForexMentor.com. Coming to you with a uh, daily video today. I want to talk about the Great British Pound U.S. dollar. It has been a hot uh, mover here this week, as I uh, mentioned on uh, Sunday uh, when I came out with our daily video analysis that we were going to be looking at shorting this particular currency. And um, you can see, of course, we've seen some massive days here, two very, very big days to the downside. And uh, I shorted this based on the daily chart because that really gave us our best entry point up here. And I've gone ahead and taken profits off the table because what I'm expecting this market to do is to pull back uh, to a certain degree, back up to these um, lows right here that were taken out or that were broken uh, right here in this area. So we can see a pullback all the way about to about 53.26. That's kind of where I'm looking at. And, um, and then we're going to be looking to, of course, sell those pullbacks, right? We're going to look to sell uh, when the market gets back up here to this area. So for that, we need to go down to the four hour, the one hour chart, and we need to look at uh, potential entry point somewhere around this area. Um, and by the way, that coincides with a nice FIB level here. If we take and we pull a FIB retracement all the way from here to, to here, you can see you can see that coincides with a FIB level there. Uh, and as we go farther up into it here, here's the 382. So we could actually see a pullback to that point. So that's what I'm looking at is a pullback between here and here. Uh, so possibly up into 53.82. So between these two levels here, 53.26 and 53.82. Uh, but overall, I believe that this market is heading down considerably. I, I still think we can get down based on the weekly chart, especially if we take out the 5100 level, then we can break down to uh, you know the 1.46 uh, area uh, within a matter of a few weeks, especially if you know there's still risk aversion uh, in the global market. So that's uh, something to be looking out for. Uh, I'll be looking to short if I get some kind of a reversal signal in between these two areas uh, or some kind of a continuation pattern. You can see that on the one hour chart as well, back up into these areas, price retraces back up into here. We'll be looking to short that. Again, we still do need you know some kind of a, a continuation signal or reversal signal of some kind to get into that market at that particular point. But I do expect we'll see some pullback here. We've had two very large days. We could get into third day. Uh, I could be wrong in it. And the market may just continue to go to the downside. But I do still think that we're going to get uh, a little bit more of a pullback here. And then we'll get another drop out of this potentially. So that's what I'll be looking to do on the pound dollar. Hope that analysis helped you out. And uh, stay safe when you're trading.